So we just saw this one on maps. I didn't really know what the potential was like or if it was going to be big in person, but I think we might have struck gold with this one. This is sick. The culture of cliff jumping is absolutely amazing. It's a bunch of grad individuals from all over the country. And we've all kind of met through Instagram and making videos and just getting out every single weekend. The spot we found today was magical, to be honest. Rolled down there, it was all kind of dark, and it just opens up. And there's a cascading waterfall into a giant pool, and then another spot to the right. This little hidden paradise that we had to like keep pushing to to get to the best part. Just a beautiful little sprinkling waterfall. Yeah. Yesterday was chaos. Uh, basically, the two beach spots were a no-go. OK, I can kind of see the spot way out there. So Robert just ran up to go scope this spot. I don't know if it's going to go. It honestly looks super dodgy to me. Just crazy waves. Estan's got flipped on the raft trying to come back in. Now we're at a waterfall a couple hours inland. And uh, this spot looks a lot safer, a lot better to jump. But I think we might have struck gold with this one. This is sick. For jumping, there's always a few things you got to scope. Uh, the biggest thing is always the depth. So luckily with this water, it's pretty clear, but I'm still going to put on a wetsuit, get down in there and swim around, make sure it's really deep, or at least deep enough in one pocket where we can jump through. This place actually has two separate waterfalls at it. So I'm going to go down and depth check the bottom one first. You can see the top one up there upstream. This one looks sick too. There's like a little perch. There's even this tree right here, which should be insane to like jump out of a branch and dive out. But it's hard to tell with all the moss covering the branches if they're big enough. So I don't know. First things first, I just got to get down there and check out the pool. Super deep right there. Dude, we scored on this one. Yeah, what? Where are we right now? <laughs> yeah. This is insane. Um, there's a couple different places to jump from, but I got my eye on this tree over here. It looks like you could get up on a couple branches, maybe about 50, 60 feet above the water, and just boost out. So. I got high hopes. All right. Up the tree we go. So, as you can see, all these branches are tiny, like that big. So I have to step like almost on the tree itself and just hope it doesn't break. This is sketchy. That does not look very sturdy. If I can hold on to this. This is terrifying! <laughs> yeah, if you're real close to the tree, it should hold. Well, I'm almost there. I gotta make like one final move to get to this branch my arm is on. Jeez, this is terrifying. I'm like 60 to 70 feet up right now in a tree that's dying. I'm like too committed at this point though, so I gotta figure out this next move. Working his way up this tree, there's really no way down besides jumping, so it's a one way ticket. And it's gonna be insane. Oh. All right, I'm going for it. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Dude, <laughs> my heart was seriously beating 
so heavy that whole time. That was some scary fun. <laughs> Sick. <laughs>